Oh, it's okay. It's not. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to my world. Um, well, I just was thinking about creating a video. I'm just not feeling up for it, but um, I've just been making so many videos today. It's like one more video. All right, uh, I didn't talk today much. Um, I did like a little video, little um, music video for a friend of mine, and um, I was thinking about like how how we have a lot of. Um, Things that bother us, like people's bullshit, you know. Um, like how we have a tolerance level of people's stuff, you know. How we can be in an environment where we lose, we shorten the tolerance level or the, the endurance of our tolerance. So I think I wanted to talk about that. Um, you know, there was this, I learned this in a, in a really powerful seminar to come at everything as though you've never seen it before. So how would you revisit playing guitar? Like, how would I revisit playing guitar after like the 10th video of playing guitar? Or maybe acting in front of the camera from the very, um, you know, doing a scene over, you know, as an actress, I had to do many scenes over, like retakes or whatever, not so much my, I mean, some of my stuff, but, you know, maybe other people or the camera guy didn't get it right, or, you know, like you have to do so many retakes. So how are we doing retakes in our lives? Like, um, can we do retakes in our lives, you know? Um... Well, if you, if you imagine your life is a video, is a, a video camera every morning. So you wake up in the morning and you open your eyes. Oh, you open your eyes and you breathe in fresh air. <sighs> you know? And then what? You create your day. You have, you might have like an alarm clock that wakes you up. Or you might have um, the sun wakes you up or a child pouncing on you or, you know, just like whatever. So you have your, your first breath and your first conscious, your, your first, your first conscious, um, your consciousness like clicks on, you know, and maybe you haven't opened your eyes yet, but you get to realize that you're alive in that moment of conscious awakening from that sleep, from the dream world, and, and, and then your brain starts like, boo, 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 whatever, like sending all the stuff in your head to like the list of things to do today, um, the problems that you're facing, that we are facing, um, crises, dramas, whatever, breakfast, you know, like whatever it is. Um, our reality just like rushes in on us and and oftentimes we get lazy in our thoughts about our environment and um, I wanted just to bring acknowledgement to that because you know we we don't always we don't always uh, realize that we're doing this amazing life all together and and we have very similar things happen, you know, human things that we 
deal with on a daily basis, whoever we are. And one thing I thought was powerful is look at things newly as, as though you've never seen it before. So even though you might be like 52 years old or 49 or 22 or 31 or whatever age you are at, 12, you know, 6, um, any age, 85, and you have life happening, what if you started looking at life as though it's never happened before? Maybe not never happened before, but maybe that experience with that person that always, that listening that you have of people or the, the view that you have of your reality, what if you saw it from a new view? as though it was like fresh. So create freshness in your understanding of um, it, it of self and others. Like open up a fresh view of a new view. Um, can you even do that? Or are you going to have your already perception available like as soon as that person talks and you're like writing them off, like forget it. Like, never. So I just wanted to open up a new, maybe it's not a new thought. Um, maybe it's a very old thought that you've had for a long time. Or maybe it's just a new way of looking at it or a different way of looking at it. And um, I was just thinking about today, you know, um, I had the opportunity to have some really amazing conversations and um, I every time I look at someone I open up a new that fresh like as though I've oh you know oh that's just Oh, that's just so and so, you know. I'll use Floyd because Floyd's my dog. Like, oh, that's just Floyd, you know. He just says those things and does those things. Um, and and then I behave already, you know. I behave how I'm being with that I've already learned to be around Floyd. You know, um, the, the crazy thing is our, when we don't see each other nearly, we lose patience with each other. We lose our tolerance level of each other, you know, and that's not, that's like, that's a tough thing to do. Like, we get impatient with each other, we get frustrated and annoyed like we bring on this like extra energy that isn't isn't necessarily um it's not necessarily productive or powerful or awesome or it's totally disempowering and damaging of people you know like when we get that those feelings of annoyance like we're like that's totally dominating other people by our attitude. We're awesome people, you know, and we get to practice our self-empowerment and self-realization daily. And I think we're better than... I think we can do awesome. And... I mean, not can, we are doing awesome. Like, we are doing awesome. And there's, like, there's this understanding of each other that I think we should raise it up, like, raise this vibration to a higher standard of being now for each other. Instead of 
having a limit, you know, um, having a limit on our hanging out with people or um, thoughts about people, you know. How about we challenge that and get with, like, difficult people sharpen us. Did you know that? Like, we should love those difficult people or those people that we see as difficult. They're not difficult. They're just, like, up-leveled and we're, like, having a difficult time with it. It's like we are the difficult time. So let's stop that. Let's open up to new view of self and view of others so that we can view newly from a new standpoint and make the difference for each other even if it's like we're so tired and we have like an agenda and we have stuff to do like let's just let go of that and be for each other because we only have each other to be with like all of us people being awesome loners out there and looking for relationships or struggling in our own relationships or having difficult time parenting, you know, being frustrated with our time or even like frustrated with our parents, you know, at whatever age because our parents don't know shit. How about, let's look at our parents newly. Let's look at their behaviors as though we've never seen them before and make a difference in our listening for them. my thoughts for tonight um hope you guys like that all right challenge for the weekend let's look at each other newly and make the difference for those in our environment and ultimately it's for us inside by us looking further beyond like our tolerance level and our the trigger and beyond let's look beyond that let's 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 visualize that thing oh it's a hump like let's look over the hump okay people all right i love you all have a good night oh and this is karen by the way good night